Okay, guys, this is uh, part two of Georgetown, and uh, we're making our way down um, one of the streets. You can see they have some uh, beautiful houses. This is kind of a Georgian house. Uh, we're not going in a lot of these structures. I had, did not uh, take the time to furnish all of these, but uh, just kind of exterior structures. And then this is the back of the, uh, the artist area. So we're going to make our way back, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go up and see some office space. Uh, I've looked at, you know, quite a few videos, and I couldn't find anybody that had done, uh, you know, true-to-form office space. So we're going to get kind of technical here. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is the back part of uh, Catton's Walk. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, ooh, didn't mean to go that fast. Uh, we're going to go up here. And uh, this is the office space, which is on the second floor. Now, I was going to put an elevator in, but this is only just, uh, you know, just one story high. So this is like a, a uh, lobby on the second floor, which brings you into the suite. This is suite 200. This is uh, actually kind of a contemporary. This would be like a little IT firm. This is about 3,000 square feet, and it's a combination of office and open space and uh, you have some nice views out here that's the yellow house and uh, you can see the village and Ascot Tudor and uh, this is the reception area now this is not completely furnished it's only partially furnished so this is the conference room or boardroom and uh, as you can see it's got glass so you can hang out in there and see look around the office uh, these are cubes yeah so uh, you know, these are cubes that, um, you know, they're built in for employees. So we leave those there. And you could put more out here or more desks. You could actually build some more offices if you wanted. And then back here, these are the executive offices, and they're open. They don't have any um, furniture, but we did leave a rug. And you can see this is a great little corner to have an office. You can just hang out in here and work all day and be able to see everything and then this is another office and then this is the kitchen for all the employees so you can come out here and hang out there's a little window you can check out the scenery and have your lunch and uh, so this is about 3,000 square feet I'm figuring and uh, we're gonna go to the other section of the floor now the other section of the floor uh, doesn't have anything it's just kind of wide open space and you'll see this is suite 202 and uh, this is ready for your build out um, I'm figuring this is probably since it's a walk up this is if you want to know a price this is about twenty five dollars a square foot triple net or maybe double net and that would amount to like a thirty three dollar a square foot full service rent and uh, if I can do my math right if it's say it's thirty dollars and thirty so that's ninety thousand annually um, you know this will cost you a pretty penny um, on an annual basis on a month it's probably about five or six thousand dollars and then you have to add in some other costs so if you're gonna have your business here you know you're gonna have to be pretty set up so I just thought this was pretty cool and then if you could look down here this is uh, open to the sky and this is a uh, Catan's walk which maybe in another day I could probably make a little bit, um, uh, make it a little bit fancier. Ooh, just hit my head. Ah! And then uh, this is a little seating area. So if you had somebody coming to visit you, you uh, the lower level. And as uh, the sun sets on Georgetown, we'll pop up and uh, we'll take a sky tour of the exterior just to show you I think it came out pretty well like I said um, the level of detail on this uh, wasn't as great as um, you know some of my other houses and mansions but nevertheless um, you know, like I said, it, it you could just keep going and going and going and adding more and more and more. So I had to kind of hold a, hold up on uh, building more more streets because I'd have to figure out what to go and you know what to put in them. And what what I could do is like if you guys have any idea of like what you want to do, 
in uh, some of these buildings, you know, let me know, and I'll we'll build it. Like I said, I think we're going to put a mattress or a bedding store in one of them, and uh, I think that's about it. And we'll just pop up one more time because it's nighttime, and you can see how we did the roofs. Kind of really looks like a city. We'll go way up. And you can see the skylight here. I thought that looks pretty cool. So, nice little town, huh? What do you think? And uh, next up, I think what we're going to do is, um, um, I think what we're going to do is probably, uh, I'm not sure if it's an Italian or a French Renaissance um, mansion. I guess we could call it maybe a French chateau or uh, an Italian uh, themed, and it's going to be uh, up the street here. Now, I've already started working on it, but um, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. It, it's had to go through some renovations. Well, at any rate, have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Georgetown. This is Extreme Takeover signing off, and uh, enjoy.